of experiences amkar khub jan manta ki city should be decongested yes of course decongested but to what level another shahar amje pande shahar samke silent dale awazat na aur mazot sun awaz na and it turn into a ghost town we need people to laugh we need people to cry also in this we need people to play in this and if we don't have businesses if we don't have people then what is the city useful for i mean we shahar ame organization plan karta to mancha gaon karta we are going to go ahead and that is why this is required and the road need not be unidirectional road is will give us great communities a thriving natural environment optimum use of resources and this can be used by range of developmental and conservation strategies who shall be planning for now and we have to take in right now our environment how sensitive we are to the environment country as uh, sir has said it has developed on the disaster pattern and we were just discussing this is the pattern the mandavi river water was touching the block of alti it was as inside as the church square this much by i don't know how familiar you are with the city santire is very clear jetty as well as knowledge but i have seen cartographic map in science and technology office which showed the water was coming up to the foot hill of alti in fact my house if it was then would have been seen as in house i say to mock them up but yes that was the extent and the city was constructed after perhaps scientific reclaiming or the best possible reclaiming that they could think of at that time strategies need to be developed to encourage our traditional means and get to continue and our communities to be economically stronger and more socially diverse this seemingly pure means and at times ours with each other's ways can be achieved with seamless use of technology i strongly believe I see technology is there for everything. So many times we see this WhatsApp messages. We try to spread all lies, scanners, and that. But that's way of life. But technology can be used in good ways also. I mean, so we are talking about Google map also. Many times I miss asking for directions. Google map is very good now. I mean, when we are just there now, we are going to use it. We wish to ask people on the way for directions. We, sometimes many times we go technological interventions. We lose that personal touch. But yes, the Google Maps help us. It is good. Well, I uh, wanted to reach here at 10:30, so I put the destination on Google Maps and told me the traffic. It will take me 15 minutes. You show me the traffic blocks. Show me the jams that can be possibly which road to take. And I set out at 10:10 to reach here on time. And that is how. The plan is to be. In fact, uh, our Prime Minister Modi ji has urged us to join him in his mission for New India, a New India of dreams of 65% population below 35 years. You are the New India. In fact, he is the known boy amongst you. I don't know. This is the issue. This class. But New India, uniquely aware women groups. These are the groups which we need to cater to. Sixty-five percent of India is young, and that's our strength. Our population is our sheer strength. Once upon a time, population was looked to be the pain. From the past day, we have heard that. And I think this is the strength that the India possesses, a young nation, a new India in which poor are looking for opportunity to do something. Instead of seeking something, this is the new India. I have seen the change. This poor no longer are just seeking for the benefits. Everybody wants to perform. Everybody wants to do something for the country, for themselves also. In turn, at the core of smart city planning is healthy and efficient living, which can be achieved by ensuring adequate and good habitats for all of us. You can execute projects in variety of fields, in variety of manners. But the outcome of this project should be healthy and efficient lifestyles. We are increasingly moving. In fact, we have moved to a knowledge-based economy. I mean, so there are people who use technology to help in every aspect of our life. I still record people. I don't know how long she will hold it. It's quite painful. But I can see her changing hands every two minutes. But anyway, she has been given the task, so she has to perform. 
But we use technology to the hint. So I have a watch, but the mobile is replaced everything, the camera, watch, the compass, you name it, the music player, the radio, I don't know what other functions the mobile can perform, but it does help us a lot. In fact, I lost my mobile. I didn't know the time would call up. Then I had to switch on the TV. I went to the guys of TV on all platforms. And I got the time from the news. But that is how we are dependent on the systems. The productivity of people have to be harnessed for a larger group. Or planners have to learn how to deal with this. The density of our people, the variety, the skill sets that we possess. Now, I'm saying that एक कंट्रोलिंग मॉडल के और स्मार्ट सिटीज़ और हैंडलाइन को नहीं मामले में आते आता हूँ तो शेक आउट करो। We have to be designing, planning for our people, for our smart cities, for the skill sets that we possess. A model of New Delhi will not work here. A model of Goa, Punjab will not work in Chennai. Every city is unique city. We have got a character. We have to retain that character. We have to grow in that character. Encouraging community, stakeholders, collaboration, and an intent to achieve what people wish in the state of state. These are the ways you have to coordinate across all levels to plan for a good city. You have to take views of the citizenry. Finally, it is not what I like that I should do. It is what the society wants and what is the need of the city that we should plan for. And in this concept, we thought that we should also participate. Goa was given choice to select the city. We had the cities of Vasco, uh, Madagao and Pandji competing for smart city. Among the state. And I think in this state was given that you have one city to select. Or Maharashtra had 11 cities to select. UP had some 19 cities to select. And they had to select amongst those 19, 11, 3 cities. And then it was deliberated. Why only to compete for the smart city? And then Punji won it. It was our team efforts. I mean, I remember Sunday we spent nights together, just to present to the state government why uh, Punji. Because there was a lot of influences, a lot of, like he said, we have got three MPs. Finally, it is a political, a political cloud that we have. Three MPs have to get a smart city. Similarly, it was one MLA had to fight against other two MLAs for the cities. Because finally, it is the money, spending power that comes and the prosperity that it gets for the city. And why smart city? The smart city will take it. If you have a police cinema, you can see the screen, you can see the camera button, you can see the screen, you can see the screen, you can see the screen. But there was a smart winner in there those times. Now the times have changed. Why smart city? We quickly unpair that. I mean, I'm just a picture of yesterday. It's a whole new picture of yesterday. When I go back home, what do I expect? I expect, of course, the tea when I go back home from my wife. But sometimes I do. Because she also comes late from there. But then what do we expect is good water supply. Good electricity. You want good roads, you want good sanitation, you want the sewage to be taken care of. We want good space to live, some open space so that children can go, my parents can go and sit. We can also go sometimes. We need good IT connectivity these days. It is not the requirement of the elder time, but we need, we need good governance, we need e-governance for the ease of our life. We need a good sustainable environmental practices. And we need to share about that. And it's not enough. So we need to share about that. It's not a healthy risk. We need security. The most important aspect. And if the city is insecure, then what's the use of it? I have gone to Gujarat many times. I have done my projects in Gujarat. My professional work is air conditioning, system design. For smart city, I have done projects in Gujarat. My professional work is air conditioning, system design. For specialized big projects. I go to I have been to many states, but I have been to Gujarat and I have observed many times. There are students, ladies, who know even at 2, 2, 30 in the night. And when I ask the taxi driver, I usually talk to taxi drivers, rickshaw drivers, waiters, room boys. They are the people who give you the exact feedback. He says, there is absolutely security in the city. 
no woman will feel as insecure. And if a woman complains, the first thing police do is pick up that guy. Questions are asked later. And that is how the security should be. There are surveillance cameras. I go, I go to Surat, I go to Bhuj in Kutch, I go to Ahmedabad. There are a lot of places which are under surveillance and immediately police pick up anybody who is suspicious. They don't allow any suspicious character to go on. And that is how the city should be. Of course, Allah is a very human rights group by the Azraeli. But citizen security is the most important thing. And I will just detail you some of the smart city initiatives that we have taken. And we are dovetailing a lot of other projects also, other missions also, like Amrut Mission, other mission for the rejuvenation of urban areas. We are uh, also working with uh, NULN, that is National Urban Values Mission. There are a lot of uh, central government schemes, state government schemes, which we are merging with the smart city. Smart city is not just a mission by itself. It is it is a mission which dovetails a lot of other schemes into itself and makes it into one modern thing, which is to be executed by a special purpose vehicle, which is a uh, limited company formed with the government of uh, Goa, 